so there's this there's this game called Star Catcher on Ixshot.io. Link is uh, down below. And it's a great game, uh, one button press. It, it's a weird like platformer, which I thought was pretty fantastic. So I decided to copy the mechanics of the game and kind of build my own platformer out of that. And then a story and use the creator as like, he's like this God in the story. But anyway, I, was going to try and build everything in C++ using Raylib, but apparently Raylib is um, broken, I guess, because everyone seems to have the exact same problem with it. There's compiler issues, and they can't get Raylib to work or whatever. So I was just like, okay, I'm done with this. Raylib was at first the biggest fisting I have had in a while. It took me nine months to get it working and the problem the entire time was VS Code. I think there might be a bug with VS Code and Raylib, but I could be wrong. The thing that fixed my issue though was VS Codium. Thank you Mental Outlaw for doing a video on that. As someone who has tried a lot of apps slash uh, coding creation tools, I've noticed that a lot of the tools that seem easy will market themselves in such a way that the tools are not at all useful for. Thunkable is a great example. They have YouTube videos where they talk about how to make games and it's a scam. Don't fall for it. Raylib is not exactly a scam. But the fact that they have constant issues with compiling should tell you that they should be a little bit more honest when downloading and installing. Because that would be, you know, extremely helpful. The point of the intro was to basically talk about tools that are for ease of use, but a pain to set up, which should not at all be a thing. C++ is a bit different as there is a build script, a make file, and a CMake that you might have to worry about. And you basically have to deal with those things. One of those three things. If you're having issues with compiling and you're using VS Code when it comes to Raylib, I would suggest using VS Codium and see if that works. I will go into that in another video and show off my code and my build script while using VS Codium. This is the last video for YouTube that I will read comments on. After this, it's Odyssey only for comments. Um, I want to push that site more than anything uh, because that should be high priority over Rumble and I really don't understand why everyone else pushes Rumble. It's a joke. But anyway, that's it for this video and I will see you guys in the next video.